Welcome to Mindful Moments on this beautiful Friday afternoon. Today we are going to do a short yoga sequence that will um, help to stretch you out a little bit and get you ready for what for some of you might be an April break. Um, for some folks it might not be, but we are definitely in any case getting ready for the weekend. So relaxing ourselves and set it, settling into a positive weekend. So let's start by, you can have your hands anywhere that's comfortable, maybe on your knees, maybe one hand resting on your heart, the other resting over it. Maybe one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, so you can feel your breathing if that's comfortable. And start to connect with your breath, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Again, breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in and out. Now as you continue breathing, just notice what it feels like to breathe in and then what it feels like to breathe out. For some people, it can feel very different between the two. And some people, it feels pretty similar. What's the case for you? What does it feel like to have air coming into your body and nourishing you and to be blowing out any of the air that's not helpful anymore? Let's go ahead and settle into a position on our backs here. We're going to make a butterfly pose with our legs. So the bottoms of your feet coming together like this, and then going ahead and laying down, reclining on your back, keeping the soles of your feet together here. And this restful pose that is stretching the inside of your hips, opening your hips up. And just sticking with our breathing here. Perhaps as you breathe in, you fill your lungs with air, sending that air to your hips. And as you breathe out, allowing the backs of your hips to sink just a little bit lower into the ground. Maybe taking another deep breath in, sending that air to the backs of your shoulders where they meet the ground. And as you breathe out, allowing them to sink a little bit deeper into the support of the ground beneath you. Now let's bring the soles of our feet to the mat itself or to the floor. Your knees pointed all the way up towards the ceiling here. You can cross one leg. I'm going to start with my right leg and bring it up first. And then cross my ankle so that it rests on the left thigh here. Just continuing to breathe, gently opening up our hips still. And then as you breathe in, bringing that foot back up towards the ceiling, flexing your foot and pointing, flex and point, flex and point, and then bringing it back down to the mat. Inhale, lift your other leg up, stretch it up, and then cross it over so that your ankle can rest on your other leg's thigh, keeping your foot flexed,
And again, inhale, bringing that foot back up towards the ceiling, flexing and pointing, flex, point, flex, and point, and bringing that leg back down to the floor as well. Bring your knees to your chest, maybe rolling from side to side, gently massaging your lower back. And then doing a move that I like to call the rock and roll. You can rock forward and back, forward and back, forward until you are up and then going right over into your tabletop here. Making sure that your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are stacked and knees and hips are stacked and you get a straight, flat spine as much as is comfortable for you. Breathing in, opening up your chest, lifting your chin, dropping your belly button towards the ground for our cow. And then breathing out, tucking everything back in, chin to your chest, belly button up towards your spine, spine up towards the ceiling for our cat. Breathe in, opening up. Breathe out, tucking in. Breathe in. Breathe out. A few more rounds of this. Let's do three more rounds in your own time and then meet me back in a flat tabletop just like this. So three more rounds. Once you've finished your three rounds here, you're returning again to your tabletop. Go ahead and tuck your toes, lift your hips up into the air. You can walk your dog by pedaling your feet. Maybe moving your hips from side to side to loosen up a little bit there. You can shake your head yes and no to loosen up any tension in your neck. And taking three breaths here in our downward dog. And then walking your hands back to your feet into a forward fold. Keeping a slight bend in your knees. Hands can be towards the mat here as we just hang, letting gravity do the work for us. And breathing here again, two breath cycles. And breathe in for a half lift, supporting yourself on your shins, maybe your thighs with your hands, keeping a flat back. And breathe out, releasing back down. Breathe in, rising all the way up. And breathe out, hands to heart center. Breathe in, reaching up. Breathe out, diving down with a flat back. Hanging here one more time. You can take opposite hands to opposite elbows and let them hang just like this right here, making sure that you're loosening your neck by either nodding or shaking your head. Again, letting gravity do its job. Release your hands back down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in for a half lift. Exhale, release. Go ahead and walk your hands back out into your downward dog here. Taking two more breath cycles here.
And then walking your feet towards your hands this time. Again, into your forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, coming all the way back up. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more time through our half sun salutation. So inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold, flat back for as long as you can. And then you can round out a little bit here. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, coming all the way back up. And exhale, hands to heart center. This time we're going to breathe in and reach up again. Breathe out, bringing ourselves down, forward folding, planting your hands, and stepping back with your right foot into a low lunge, bending that front knee here. You can bring your hands so that they are on either side of your foot. And first, bring that back knee down. We're in our low lunge here. Let's breathe and reach up, turning it into a high lunge with a lowered knee. Take a deep breath in and fill your lungs with air. And breathe out, sink down your hips a little bit closer to the ground if you wish. Breathing in, releasing that. Again, breathing in. And exhale, sinking down. Inhale, coming back up. Go ahead and bring your hands to either side of your foot again. You're going to push your hips back as if you're going to sit on this back right heel and allow your front leg to straighten with your heel on the ground, toes pointing up for our half monkey split. Breathing here, keeping a flat back as much as is comfortable for you. Two more breaths here. And then slowly you can bring your torso forward again, coming back to bending that knee. Right now, if you want, you can keep your knee on the ground as you wish, as you lower both hands to the inside of your left foot, or you can tuck your toe and raise that back knee up off the mat for our lizard pose. You can stay here or Again, lowering that knee and bringing yourself down to your forearms here. Still keeping that right knee, or left knee rather, bent. Breathing here for one breath cycle. And then bringing yourself back up here. Go ahead and tuck those back toes. Bring yourself up and walk your hands so that you are now in a forward fold with your wide legs, adjusting your feet so that the toes are both pointed in the same direction, pointing forward. And you've got a nice flat back here, reaching down toward the ground. Feel free to bring your feet a little bit closer into each other if that's comfortable. You should be able to lift your heels up off the ground. So I'm having a little bit of trouble with that, so that tells me I should move my foot in a little closer. And if you can come up off of your heels, then that's a good indication. So coming back into this forward fold here, you can keep a little bit of a bend in your knees. You walk your hands in between your legs to give yourself a deeper stretch. and then walk them back forward. Now walking them over towards your right foot, the other side here. Tick tock your feet so that we can return it into a low lunge. So pick that back heel, that left heel up off the mat so that you can move on your toes. Bend that front knee. Again, you can bring your knee down to the mat if you want. 
bringing your hands to the inside of that right foot now into our lizard on this side. Breathing in and out. Again, breathing in and out. Coming so that your hands are now sort of framing that front foot. So you're in that low lunge again. Let's go into our half monkey split. So coming back, leaning into that back hip area as if you're going to sit on that hip. Your right leg now is extended and your toes are pointed towards the ceiling of your right foot. Breathing here. And then go ahead and come forward one more time into your low lunge, taking a deep breath in, turning it into a high lunge. Inhale, filling your lungs with breath. Exhale, sinking your hips a little lower if that's comfortable. Inhale and releasing. One more time, exhale, sinking down. And inhale, releasing. Go ahead and frame that front foot again. Tuck those back toes. You can bring your back foot forward so that you're in your forward fold one more time here. Again, taking opposite hands to opposite elbows if you wish. If you've done that, you can release your hands back down towards the ground. Step back into your downward dog one more time. Stopping here to take a deep breath in. Letting it out. Then lowering down to child's pose. So bringing your knees down and pushing yourself back to sit on your heels. Head coming to either the ground or your hands like this. And we'll be here for three breaths. Once you're done with your three breaths, you can bring yourself out of child's pose here and meet me sitting on your uh sitting on your mat with your legs fully extended out in front of you nice tall straight back if um as straight as is possible and as comfortable for you and we're actually going to place your hands behind you with your fingers pointed towards your feet and then bring the bottoms of your feet to the mat about hip width distance apart from each other and as close to your body as is comfortable. We're going to do a reverse tabletop and hold it for three breaths. So what that means is we'll take a deep breath in and let it out and take a deep breath in, raise your hips straight up so that we're making a table with our front side of our body this time and hold here for three breaths. And then slowly lower back down to the mat. You can allow your feet to come forward in front of you one more time and fully extend them out, bringing yourself sitting back up, straight and tall. Let's bring the soles of our feet together one more time. We'll do a little bit of a butterfly walk here. So what that means is your feet stay in the same place, but you can walk towards the wall behind you or whatever is in your backspace with your hip bones. So walking back until you can't stretch any further and then you can walk back forward close to your feet again. This is working on opening up your hips and using your, the hip bones, the bottoms of the hip bones to really help you with that stretch. 
So again, once you get close, you can start walking back again. Butterfly walk. And then come back close once more. This time, once you get close to your feet again, you can stop there and slowly bring yourself back into a reclined position. Still keeping the soles of your feet together here. As we enter into our last pose of our sequence, our Shavasana. If you'd like to stay here with the bottoms of your feet together, that's always an option. If not, you can fully extend your legs out in front of you. Allow your feet to fall away from each other. Your arms are by your sides. And again, just connect with your breathing. If you wish, you can place one hand over your heart and the other hand on top of that one. And as we're letting our bodies rest and take in all of the stretching and movement we just did, I invite you to join me in our loving kindness meditation so that we have an opportunity to connect with each other and connect with ourselves during this time before we start our weekend. So first, bring a picture of yourself to your mind feeling appreciation for the accomplishments that you've had over this past week, maybe just over the past couple of days, thinking about something you've been successful at. And as you take a deep breath in, you're going to send yourself this wish. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I be free. You take a deep breath in and blow it out. And now bring to your mind someone you care about. Maybe it's a few people, maybe it's a pet. And think of something that you are grateful for about this person. Why is it that they've come to your mind right now? Take a deep breath in and send them this wish. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be free. And take a deep breath in. Let it out. Sending out your positive wish, your gratitude. And last, let's bring to our minds an image of our whole community and our, really our whole world. All of the people we care about, all of the people of the world, in their homes, in their gardens maybe, wherever they may be. And we'll send them the same wish. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be free. You take a deep, deep breath in and blow it out, sending the wish to everyone in the whole world. You can start to bring some gentle movement back into your fingers and toes, maybe giving yourself a stretch overhead, maybe nodding your head from side to side before rolling over onto one side, pausing here again for one minute. One more breath. And then use your hands to push yourself up, back into a seated position. If your eyes are closed, you can open them. I'm going to bring my hands to heart center my palms touching, you can do the same. 
or you can have your hands on your knees, whatever's comfortable. And we will close our practice today by saying namaste.